Hi, right, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I've been more consistent with this YouTube stuff, bro. And it's actually kind of fun, bro. Like, I'm not like saying I'm developing a character just because of social media, but I'm developing a character because I know that I'm impacting lives. I get y'all messages all the time, bro. I see a lot of different messages. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I get messages about God, I get messages about workout, and it kind of like makes me wonder what should I make my content more about? Like, but then I was just like, be you. I think people want to see real on social media. So when I post, I try to upload exactly how I'm feeling. I try to do workouts. I try to do motivation because people need that. I just try to do what, you know, what I do already, but try to give it to you guys. And y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all want more videos of. Of course, you know, we're growing as a community, legendary fan. We up. I'm telling you, 2024 is going to be about a year. But as we close out 2023, we're going to do bigger and better things. I appreciate y'all love and support. I got to say it, each and every video. And all praises go to God because... I know that it wouldn't be possible without him. I know that he's opening up doors in my life. And I'm grateful to know that, you know what I'm saying, even if I stepped away from a different path, God still directed me towards him. And it's like amazing to know that we serve a God who does the impossible. Um, I don't worry about the future because I know that God has it. You know, we, we in good hands in God's hands, bro. Um, I'm not gonna make this too much of a talking video. Today I kind of like was like all over the place feeling like I'm not doing enough. I was like, bro, I'm not posting enough. I got to do more. So I had to come to Starbucks, clear my mind. I'm actually going to go get a massage a little bit later at like 4 o'clock. I'm going to enjoy that as well. My body is so sore from all the workouts, playing with kids, everything I do throughout the week. And I got to start getting my mind ready to get back to the competing with the strong one-on-ones. And, you know, football's going to open up a door for itself, especially if it's XFL, you know, some type of USFL. Something's going to open up a door, and i am got to be ready. You know what I'm saying? What they say, stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. <laughs> Anyway, bro, it's not being consistent. I'm just making a video of my little day today. I got to meet with my camera woman in a second and um, get these videos that we already shot, what, yesterday? The day before I don't know. A little workout that we did. So I got to get those videos from her, send them to my editor, and I'm going to go get my massage. I'm probably going to enjoy the rest of the day, probably do some homework, probably end up back at Starbucks or go to, like, Buffalo Wild Wings and finish off my day, watch a game. But, um... Hope you enjoyed this video, man. Y'all make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell on so you know what I'm posting. But the days are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We've been active. We've been staying consistent. So I need y'all to do y'all part of y'all in. Help me help y'all. But we out, and I'm going to see y'all. All right, bro. So my my camera wait, you know. Oh, oh. All right, so my camera lady, you know what I'm saying, decided to meet at Starbucks. But I was at a different Starbucks. I got to go to another Starbucks. I'm probably going to sit in there to my massage. So I'm going to be back at another Starbucks. But I figured I'll update y'all because this is like, I don't even know what to call this video, bro, for real. I might literally just make this a video about anything. Like, I might just go out into public after this and just be like asking strangers questions. But I'm actually excited for the future because like, like I said, I've been finding like more reason to keep going and stuff like that. And it's kind of exciting. Like I'm gonna do a beach cleanup one video. I'm about to keep working and document my journey back to the football. Like, and I'll be dropping shorts on that. And I really believe like if I stay consistent and give it everything I got, bro, Bro, we'll be at 200K, not 200, 20K. But I'll take 200K too, now I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, more bread in my pocket. But I ain't gonna lie, bro, it's a grind. YouTube has been a grind, bro. It actually like takes me away from TikTok. And I know people in the TikTok room was like, hey, yo, bro, I ain't posting as much on TikTok. It be tiring, bro. Jumping from TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, we all over the place, bro. And it's like, yo. So I try to focus mainly on one, but I feel like I can just do maybe two, maybe three, or do them all. And honestly, just like post my videos that I'm already making for other platforms just on there as well. I'm figuring it all out, bro. I'm mad it took me this long to figure it out, but I, I'm actually having fun with it now, bro. And I'm finna only start having more fun with it, and I'm gonna keep growing and keep doing what I gotta do. I ain't gonna lie, I need something. Eee. Yeah, I just picked me up some Panda, bro. I didn't, I wasn't feeling Starbucks. But they ain't got no good Wi-Fi out of this piece, so I might not really stay here. Am I trying to go all the way home, bro? I'm trying to just make sure I got enough videos to post for this upcoming week, so y'all bear with me. I need better Wi-Fi, bro. I'm trying to go watch the YouTube video to my massage, you know, session. Hopefully, I get massaged by this fine lady. She rubbed my body. Let me let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. You. Yeah. Oh, what the? Anyway, bro, he started looking. Had to. Bro, we will get a job at Panda Express. Yes, yes, yes. Gonna be flipping that chicken. I'm so serious, watch. Y'all can come back next week and see I got a job at Panda Express and y'all know what time it is.
They make, bro, how does a store manager at Panda Express make 72K a year? The freak? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me count that back. I mean, they make almost 100K a year being a manager. At, what the? It's not about the chicken. They doing other things behind the table. That's pretty good pay. Almost as much as I get paid. I don't get paid. I'm broke. If y'all share this video, I can get paid through YouTube. And I ain't got to worry about, you know what I'm saying, trying to get paid through other websites. Help me help you. I'm finna enjoy this food, so I'll be back. See y'all when I get back. And, um, yeah, now I'm heading to this freaking massage place, bro. And it's right around the corner, bro. So I ain't got to go too far. But as I was sitting out in there, bro, I'm planning a place where I haven't been. I just want to travel out there, too. Um... I know I'm finna go to Seattle for the first time on the 28th, and I'm excited, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. My first time out in Seattle, bro. And um, I get to compete for, you know what I'm saying, another $10,000. I know I'd be falling short, but I think if I really lock in, bro, like I be trying to tell y'all, I can do some bigger things, bro. I just gotta trust the process, bro. And hopefully I get invited to Las Vegas. All right, so Destroying is doing this thing where he'll give you a necklace, bro. You get the necklace, bro, he'll invite you out to Las Vegas for a chance to compete for some more money, bro, at the end of the year. So I'm really hoping that I can get that chance so I can go compete for the bigger grand prize, bro. But at the same time, I'm looking to maybe win that. Not maybe. I want to win that 10000 because I know that it can help me in so many areas of my life right now, bro. I mean, I still make money, but I want to make more money so I can do more and bigger things. So I think getting that bread will really do some amazing things for me. But it all takes time. It takes patience. And when I go to these events, bro, I know I be selling the bag so many times, bro. I think I've been to maybe like 10 by now and I never want what I want. When I would win them when he was doing like $1,000, bro, we'll split the grand prize up. And then even when he started rising the price to like like 2000 and stuff, I always split the prize up with other people who would win. And he finally started like maybe making one person win. And that's when he only did that for the freaking... um. The Virginia one I had went to that one time, so I was kind of like, yo, bro. And since then, bro, I competed in one, two, and three of them. So I definitely got to have my bounce back sooner or later, bro. But in order to do that, I got to make sure I'm in my full potential, bro. And um, only way I can do that is by locking in on me, making sure I eat the right things, hydrate my body, and continue to take care of my body, which explains why I'm going to get my massage today. Hopefully, they make me feel amazing, make me feel right, make me feel like all things inside makes me feel I don't know I tried to rap I'm one day I'm gonna be able to rap bro mm, 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 mm. oh massage done I'm not gonna lie got your boy feeling different bro honestly if I pay more attention to like this side of health like you know just making sure <sighs> muscles are relaxed and I feel like I perform a thousand times better so I'm not gonna lie up until this destroying event in Seattle, bro, I might be getting massages just to make sure that my body's ready to, you know, compete at its fullest potential, bro. At its fullest potential. Anyway, bro, I think for the next few days, I'm going to be taking ice baths just because, bro, I want to, like I said, I want to take, you know, advantage of this side of health, bro. I mean, of course, eating right is a big ha advantage, but at the same time, getting massages, taking ice baths, making sure my body's like 130% ready to compete so I can stay ready. Cause you know what I'm saying? If I stay ready, I ain't got to get ready. But I did rebook me another massage. I ain't gonna lie, that massage lady tried to... We at, well, oh, almost at Walmart. We at Winn-Dixie now, bro. I feel like every time I open up the camera, I'm like, yo, I'm here, I'm here. <sighs> y'all can't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all, bro. Y'all be looking out for me, so I'm looking out for y'all to make sure to stay consistent, bro. Why are you smiling, bro? You always smiling. I ain't gonna lie to you. In my mind, what did I even come in this store for, bro? I, I literally just forgot too, bro. Besides going to the bathroom, of course.